Scientists know that consuming too much caffeine can actually be dangerous. Yeah, so Dr. Nandy uh, joins us now to talk about this. What is, what's the danger? We know we get jittery if we feel like we have too much, but what's the real danger? Yeah, it's, it's really important. If you're like many Americans, caffeine is a daily part of your life. Moderate mm -hmm. amounts are relatively safe, but too much can cause serious neurologic and cardiac effects. You can suffer from a rapid heart rate, seizures, heart rhythm disturbances, hallucinations, muscle breakdown, and even cardiac ischemia, which means your heart arteries really narrow down. Mm -hmm. These are serious risks and can cause even death because there's no antidote for excess caffeine intake. So how much is too much? Yeah, so for adults, taking up to 400 milligrams is relatively safe. That's easier to reach because a cup of coffee, if you're a coffee drinker, gives you 100 to 200 milligrams oh. of caffeine. Wow. So tea has anywhere between 20 to 80 milligrams of caffeine, not as much as coffee. My concern is for those people who have those energy drinks. These can exceed 200 milligrams per serving. You need to check the label because you may be drinking multiple servings in just one container. That's right, you have that, you have coffee too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it all adds up, right? How long does it stay in our body, the caffeine? This is a good question. So caffeine can stay in our system for four to six hours. Mm -hmm. My concern is that many of us see caffeine as safe. There are other precautions you, just, you should take. So my prescriptions are as follows. If you're thirsty, avoid caffeine. It's a mild diuretic. So actually, it makes your body lose fluid. Also, check your medications as some may interact with caffeine. If you're unsure, talk to your doctor or pharmacist. Be careful if you take an herbal supplement like echinacea. It can actually increase unpleasant side effects of the caffeine. And please don't give energy drinks to kids. The high caffeine levels are very unsafe, especially for small children. With all this in mind, when do we know we're in trouble and when should we seek help? That's a good question. So I'd recommend seeking emergency care if you experience more than just the usual jitters, heartburn, or loose stool. It's best not to drink three to four cups of coffee or strong tea in a short period of time. That way you can avoid putting yourself at serious risk. So I think it's important information that people need. It certainly is. Dr. Nandy, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.